Greetings, Slackers. September Man here on this December 7, 2017. And I'm over on Fox 2 now with another article I wanted to share with you. And uh, this is Police. Stranger harasses woman with threatening texts, negative Craigslist ad. And this is by Jasmine Huda. And it goes on to say here, St. Louis, Missouri. A Chesterfield woman wants to know who is using Craigslist to post mean comments about her. An online ad in the personal section featured her picture and the title, quote, Danger. The woman, 35, told Chesterfield police it all began with a text from an unrecognizable number with a 636 area code. The text included a link to Craigslist, and it had a picture of our victim, and it said, this lady is dangerous. If you have encountered her, you should be afraid and get away ASAP, Chesterfield Police Sergeant Keith Ryder said. That was just the beginning. The victim continued to receive texts from the same phone number, stating that the Craigslist ad would be reposted, no matter how many times she deleted it. It also threatened to notify her employers that she was an evil person, Sergeant Ryder said. It's obviously somebody with an axe to grind with the victim. For whatever reason, and we're trying to figure out who this person is, he said. And figuring out who the person is could be a long process, Ryder said. You have the subpoena records from Craigslist, the phone number, you have the figure number, so you have to do the extra step of trying to unwind that, he said. The ad has since been removed, but that doesn't put an end to the investigation. Detectives continue to work to identify the person or persons responsible for bullying the victim. This is a harassment thing. Definitely, this has put her in apprehension, Ryder said. And you know, every once in a while, stories like this come across. And because I've had a friend in the past who this happened to, it's something that's very easy to do. And with Craigslist, you know, there's not really a whole lot of oversight. That's a good thing sometimes, and it's also a bad thing, as in this case here, because someone can put up a phone number, someone's picture. Um, you have a lot of revenge porn that goes through there. You know, all kinds of situations that basically fall into the cyberbullying and harassment category and think about it it's a way to cause someone torment and anguish and make them hurt because nothing is worse than feeling vulnerable and threatened and with women a lot of you out there sometimes this happens to you and that's not right. You should have the ability to talk to someone without them becoming upset with you and posting your name, number, and pictures online. Fellas, if you are of the mindset that, you know, then it's sort of like a petty mindset that, you know, I'm going to get sweet revenge or something like that, you know, I would ask you to check yourself. What are you really getting out of that? You know, to intentionally set off to hurt someone and don't get me wrong I'm not trying to minimize your feelings if you're someone who was hurt because you do have your feelings there at the same time what do you accomplish by hurting someone else sometimes we just have to be the bigger person and move on sometimes we just have to be that more mature person and let things go it's not easy but this is just some suggested advice that's going to do it for this article. The link to this will be down in the description box. And if you're someone who's been affected by an ad that's been posted on Craigslist, or you're a person who has put someone's pictures and phone number up there to harass them, why? And did you feel any better after doing so? You know, that's something to know. Leave all that down in the comment section below. That's going to do it for this article and this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Did you enjoy this video and find it informative? Subscribe to the Slackers Method. 
and click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all the latest notifications for when I upload new videos.